This is David Wells, and I'm going to show you really quickly what WordPress Calls to Action plugin does. Let me start by just talking a little bit about what exactly a call to action is and why you would want one on your site. So basically, when a visitor comes into your site's web page, they may or may not convert, they may or may not click on the contact us on your site. So the idea is to create a call to action in the sidebar as a pop-up somewhere in the content, something that's visually appealing that gets the visitor's attention and then getting them to click on it and leading them into a landing page with some sort of form to convert them as a business lead. And that's exactly what uh, WordPress Calls to Action lets you do. Just a quick rundown before I jump into all these specifics later on in the video. Uh, the WordPress call to action plugin lets you A-B test your calls to action to improve your marketing continuously over time. It allows you to create beautiful calls to action without any coding knowledge at all. It has a templating engine for designers and developers. This was actually built as a framework. So if you have call to action templates or designs that you've created um, that are just text widgets right now and you're not testing the impressions or click-throughs, it's a great, great way to implement this into the tool and actually test that stuff and see what's working instead of guessing what's working. Uh, this will also let you gather lead intelligence um, with our other plugin, WordPress Leads. This works hand in hand with our other plugin, WordPress Landing Pages, to really help businesses drive more leads. So with all that said, let's jump into the specifics and I'll show you step by step through the plugin. So once you install the WordPress call to action plugin, you'll have this new call to action menu uh, where you can go ahead and add a new call to action to your site. So this plugin comes prepackaged with a couple of different call to action templates that lets you quickly and easily create visually appealing calls to action without any design skills necessary. This is also a template framework. So anybody interested in creating their own calls to action uh, templates or having their designer or developer build one for them or hiring whoever to build one for you, it's fully extendable. You can add as many call to action templates as you want to this plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a call to action template that comes with the plugin. And we're gonna be building more and more templates as time goes on. I'm gonna go ahead and name this call to action one. Create my call to action. And what we see here is a bunch of different options. So these are all uh, options that you can just quickly toggle, change, and create your call to action. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. The call to action tool, as well as our other plugin, WordPress landing pages, comes with a visual editor. So you don't have to kind of guess what these options do. You can launch the visual editor and make these changes on the fly. So this is actually what our call to action looks like right now. Uh, I actually wanna make it 300 pixels wide and we'll go ahead and make this 400 pixels tall. I'm gonna go ahead and update that. Change the height and width of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just to show you, I can change the color scheme. So this is the main headline color. I wanna make that red and let's make the background color a gray, let's say. So you can update one thing at a time and see kind of what it looks like and revert back. Um, but as you can see, it's very quick and easy to actually create these calls to action. This is a little bit too tall, so I'm gonna make this there. So that is the visual editor. You can do this with any template or change whatever template you're working with on the fly and create your call to action. Once you have a call to action created here, you can insert it into any content on your site, any page or post. So if you go into your blog post, for example, here's a test post. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some dummy content into this post. 
And on every page and post, there is a new option um, that comes with the plugin. Basically, you can select the, which call to action you actually want to insert into the blog post. And you can preview it as well. If you don't remember exactly what it looks like, you can go ahead and preview that. There's also A-B testing. I'm gonna to get to that in a second here. So let's say I want to insert this call to action and I wanna do it above my blog post. So basically you toggle that call to action and update your post. And then if you go and view this post, your call to action gets dynamically inserted into the top of that blog post. You can also insert calls to action with the short code. Um, you can also insert multiple calls to action and rotate them throughout. So let's say you have multiple offers on your site or multiple landing pages. I can actually select as many of those calls to action I want to randomly rotate on this particular blog post. So I can insert this in the middle of the content, below the content, in a sidebar widget, which I'll get to in a second, and also as a pop-up. So let's go ahead and demo the pop-up real quick. So I'm going to set this as a pop-up update this post and then if we go ahead and refresh this post you can see the pop-up right there so the pop-up basically it can be a button to click or it can be a form to convert an email address right then and there so that's how you place calls to action into content right now there's also a short code which we're going to be adding a button for up here in the editor pretty soon but the other way to insert calls to action uh, more globally on your site is actually by using the sidebar widget. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if I open up widgets underneath appearance in WordPress, um, the call to action plugin adds in two extra widgets, a regular call to action widget and then a dynamic one. So let me show you what these do. So the dynamic call to action widget, if you go ahead and drag and drop it over to the sidebar here, what it does, um, it's empty and it's dynamic. And what that means is on every page and post of your site in those call to action settings below the post, there's an option for sidebar. So if you select sidebar widget, that will dynamically place this call to action into that sidebar wherever the dynamic call to action widget is placed. If there's, if it's not toggled on as a sidebar widget and it's somewhere else or not even on on the page, then nothing will show in that particular area. So that's the dynamic widget, uh, very handy for placing this stuff on a per page basis. And that's really what you want with a call to action is to put very specific, highly targeted uh, ads or calls to action on your site to convert more visitors. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this call to action widget and replace it with the normal one. And what the normal one does is it actually gives you a list of all your different calls to action you have. So you can select one call to action to show or if you want to rotate through randomly multiple calls to action to show different offers on that widget area in that sidebar, you can do that as well. Um, and then set height and width uh, by default. Those are also set in the uh, calls to action. You can also preview these. So if you forget what these calls to action look like, you can go ahead and preview these. So this is another one of our templates that is, um, I call it the Bill Murray template because that's the placeholder image, but it has a little slide out effect uh, that you can go ahead and put whatever content you want in there, change the headline or not show the headline. And this is an example of an A-B test or this is the B version, it's a little bit bigger. Um, I'd probably test something else if this was a true A-B test. But speaking of A-B testing, so that's placing sidebar widgets. Um, that's a quick way to put these all over your site and start converting more and more leads. Um, let's take a look at the A-B testing functionality. So I'm gonna go back into our call to action area and let's look at the example that comes pre-installed with every call to action plugin. So um, let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the visual editor in a new tab here and show you guys what we have here. So this is the first, the A variation of this call to action. Let's say I wanted to test maybe the headline or maybe the colors or the button color or something like that. Um, it's something you can easily do. 
And the way to do that is by cloning a specific variation. So if I wanted to clone that blue version um, A, I could just click on clone and it will create uh, another variation for me. So C is the next one up. And then I can go ahead and edit any of those options. Let's go ahead and change the background color to a greenish. Let me go ahead and update that and update all of these. So now if I go ahead and refresh the preview page, what we'll see is, so we have an A version. Um, if I click on B, it'll quickly load that and show me what I have here. So this is a red background um, with a slightly different uh, copy setup. Uh, again, these are all options that you can configure without needing to know any kind of code. And then here's the third version. So let's say, let's go ahead and place this on a page to give you more context. And this is showing like a full width view, but really what the call to action would look like um, if we go ahead and measure this, it would be about this wide. So 280, 290 pixels wide and 320 pixels tall. And this would go perfectly in our site's sidebar. So let's go ahead and insert that into our site's sidebar. So again, inside of widgets, I'm gonna go drop that down. The AB testing example is the one that we want. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So now if we go to the front end of the site where the sidebar is, so let's go into this post and view this post. So in this sidebar, you can see there is our call to action. And if I refresh this page, it's gonna rotate through the different variations that we have. So here's the green one, that's version C. Here's the version A with the blue background and then version B with the red background. So as you can see, you can quickly and easily set up multiple variations to test and improve your marketing with the call to action plugin. So if I go back in here, um, what we can see as time progresses, you can see how many views a call to action has actually gotten and then how many clicks it's actually gotten. So you can quickly see which one works, which one doesn't. And if it doesn't work or it's not working very well, you can go ahead and pause that variation and turn that off. So only in this example, only B and C would then be rotating in that sidebar. Uh, and then I could maybe clone variation B, change something else slightly in it um, and see if I can improve that conversion rate. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to A-B test within calls to action. And that is the call to action um, plugin in a nutshell. Again, this is a framework that's fully extendable, um, that stores leads within our other plugin WordPress leads. And um, really you can do a lot of amazing things with it. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can tweet at me at David Wells or check out our site at inboundnow.com. We have a whole section for calls to action. Um, and if you have any questions about the plugin, go ahead and leave a comment in our support forum, or again, tweet me, and I will point you in the right direction.